This is Esbjerg Harbour on the west coast of Denmark. Here, Vestas' first large-scale produced V112 3-megawatt wind turbines are being loaded onto a ship bound for the MacArthur project in Australia. The shipment marks a significant milestone for Vestas, with the 420 megawatt MacArthur project set to become the largest wind power plant in the southern hemisphere. Since signing the order back in 2010, Vestas has been working hard to get the final pieces in place for the production of the V112 3 megawatt. Seven prototype turbines have been undergoing extensive test and verification to guarantee reliability. The ship will transport the first 14 of the 140 wind turbines, and the size of transporting the massive turbine is a challenge for Vestas. Peter Masson, transport specialist from Vestas Northern Europe, explains the scope of the project and how Vestas overcame the challenges of transporting the V112. On this first vessel for the MacArthur project, we're loading 14 turbines, we're loading 14 hubs and 42 blades. I guess that the journey to Australia will take about five to six weeks. Uh, the V112 has uh, had some challenges uh, regarding the size of the blades, which is longer than we have been uh, used to. Uh, we have uh, created some special trailers for that and our suppliers have been very uh, supportive in that. I think there has been a very good uh, focus and cooperation throughout the organization to get this to make this work. Um, we have, I believe, managed in time to be here with uh, all the components we need, and that is mainly due to a high focus within the organization.